gentlemen, this is your girl Mitzi, and this is Mitzi Thinking, and we are breaking down emotions, emotions, do you guys know your emotions? Well, do you? Do you really know it? Uh, well, today we are going to be breaking down the emotion of hope. Hope is something that I feel like not a lot of people understand. And I think majority of the time when people associate hope, they associate hope with goals and motivation or in faith and with religion, and with God, you know, and that's not necessarily wrong, you know, from my understanding. And after breaking down hope, I came to realize that hope is still something that is very subjective. You know, I feel like hope is very personal. Nobody really understands another person's hope. Nobody understands what another person is hoping for. And I think that is where we have to respect hope. You know what I mean? Because it is a subjective feeling. We never know what somebody is hoping for, you know? And I just feel like we need to keep that hope because once it's gone, it kind of destroys somebody. You know what I mean? It kind of just turn somebody on the dark side. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying hope is necessary for each and every person, but hope is not something that can be judged or criticized because it's personal. You know, there's no wrong in your hope. You know, my hope may be different than your hope. However, as long as you're hoping, that is all that matters because you have something you're hoping for. You have something that you want but let's really define hope to see really what it means so per dictionary.com hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for certain things to happen a type of feeling of trust that right there is still subjective because everybody is expecting something different out of someone a job a significant other you know um your home environment your culture your overall who you are as an individual will be expecting something different or desiring something specific to happen for you for yourself and that right there is personal I was able to do some research on hope per hope grows.net why hope is so important hope can provide the key to making every day better Having hope helps people feel as if they have some sense of control in difficult or unforeseen circumstances. And that's true. You know, in my opinion, I think that is true. Um, but anyways, per Dr. Neil Burton states that having hope is important to the very act of being a human being. As well as Dr. Judith Rich also states hope is a match in a dark tunnel, a moment of light just enough to reveal the path ahead and ultimately the way out isn't that beautifully stated i think so because hope really gives somebody that sense of relief you know that sense of it's like finally being able to just let go <laughs> you know or just having that hope to know that everything's going to be okay so I was able to find some fun facts on how to stay hopeful per myfuelddaily.com. How to stay hopeful during difficult times. One, reach out to others no matter what's going on in your mind or what is just affecting you. Don't have to deal with it alone. You don't have to deal with life alone. That becomes a choice. Number two, express gratitude. Uh, if you have not listened to Gratitude, that podcast, go check it out. But you really need to be thankful. Everybody needs to have a moment to just be thankful, thankful for the air. Yeah, it may be contaminated, but at least you're breathing, you know, thankful for water. It may also be contaminated, but hey, at least it's there and you're drinking it. <laughs> Anyways, back to the fun facts. Number three, be kind. Kindness helps you feel good, look good, and it also does yourself some good. Yes, that is very true. I feel like kindness costs nothing. I feel like compassion and kindness is something that people need to express more. Number four, take care of yourself. Get sleep, eat right, keep yourself active. Ladies and gentlemen, and I also need to take this into consideration, we all need to take care of ourselves better. Sometimes 
We are so focused on making sure everyone else is good that we forget about ourselves. So take care of yourself. Be good to you. Number five, have goals. Even if it's small goals to big goals, the point is have goals. It gives you something to look forward to. Just don't settle. You know, and if you need a reference, go read my blog. Number six, ask for help. You may be surprised by the solutions, ideas, or just an outsider's perspective can make a world of a difference. You never know where you are blocking yourself or what obstacles that you may see as obstacles are not really obstacles in another person's eyes. You know what I mean? Sometimes we see a big tree in front of us and we're like, damn, we can't move forward. But then we tell somebody else and they're like, okay, then walk around the tree. And you're like, oh, damn, well, I never really thought about that. You know, sometimes we create obstacles in our minds, restricting us from actually going where we need to go, if that makes sense. Anyways, number seven, engage in meaningful actions. Focus on what you can control versus what you can't. And that is where we have to also remember we have to focus on what's happening in our mind because when we are focusing on what's happening in our mind that's when we, we can really see the negative thoughts the positive thoughts the, the thoughts that have no reason to be there sometimes we make out things to be more real than what they are you know certain conversations certain scenarios that we play out in our mind aren't always true to be our reality so when we confront things in our reality it throws off our own imagination of how we played it out to be so that is why we have to focus on what you can control versus what you can't it is time for the quiz <laughs> hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness number two hope lies in dreams in imaginations and in the courage of those who dare to make dreams into reality and number three, the reason why we can't let go of someone is because deep inside, we still have hope for them. Mm, ladies and gentlemen, I know that one right there touched you because you know what? I think that's the reason why we hold on to toxic relationships and toxic people because that statement right there, that quote right there, the reason why we can't let go of someone is because deep inside, we still have hope. And it doesn't that suck when we have hope for the wrong people? that ends up hurting us more than what we should even allow? I mean, maybe that's just me, but that's just something we should take into consideration. Something to think about. So I just want to say thank you so much to all of my thinkers out there. I hope you were all able to think and evolve each time you guys listen to me. And I truly hope I can help someone in some way by Mitzi Think Think. And I truly say thank you with all my heart for and for all of you guys who do come back and on my in-state and out-of-state listeners. I really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to share, like, follow, and let everybody know that your girl Mitzi is trying to make everybody think. <laughs> Food for thought. The past is a source of knowledge and the future is a source of hope. Love of the past implies faith in the future. With that being said, bye, y'all.